All right, so this is going to be a quick test of the CAD E100S, my new microphone. I thought I might as well do a small demo here since there are not a lot of YouTube videos showcasing this mic on YouTube. Um, there are definitely a few, but a lot that's there is either instrument or vocal recording, not a lot of just straight talking to the microphone. Uh, however, I did find out about this microphone uh, from YouTube, a YouTube channel called Booth Junkie run by Mike Delgadio, and he did a great review along with uh, many comparisons to other high-quality mics, but the CAD E100S really caught my eye, or my ear, as it is, and I made the decision that this would be the microphone I eventually uh, upgrade to. I didn't plan on buying it so soon, but MassDrop.com ended up putting it up. Um, if you're not familiar with what MassDrop.com is, it's uh, basically a group buying website that they have featured items and uh, you sign up for a drop is what they call it uh, and when this drop goes live they will notify you and you then have the ability to purchase whatever the item may be uh, it's mostly tech related items on mass drop but there are some other stuff and once enough people have bought that item you actually get a uh, pretty sizable discount in in many cases so this is what it what happened with the CAD E100S. I got it for a pretty good price. The only real downside to MassDrop.com is the fact that it will take a long time to get your item. After purchasing the CAD E100S, uh, they have to they had to order it from the manufacturer, have it shipped to the MassDrop facility, and then they ship it out to you. So it took all in close to a month for me to receive this microphone, but I didn't need it right away anyway, so it wasn't a big deal to me, but it's something to keep in mind if you are going to uh, be shopping on Mass Drop. Right now you're hearing the completely raw audio straight from the microphone. It, this is without the high-pass filter engaged. This is without the 10 dB pad engaged. This is just the raw, unedited audio. I may stick some edited audio in at the end of this uh, this video, but I wanted to just give an idea of what it sounds like just straight from the microphone with no effects or anything. And keep in mind that I am not in an acoustically treated room. I'm actually speaking into uh, a closet full of clothes just to cut down on the echo as much as possible. There's an AC running, which you can probably hear when I uh, get a little bit quiet here. but. Uh, also, I wanted to point out the fact that I have a clock behind me that is ticking. So if you do hear a ticking sound, which if I quiet just for a second here, you can probably hear it. Yeah, that ticking sound is not coming from the microphone. I just wanted to point that out. That is just the background, uh, background noise. The one concern I had about this microphone was a quality control issue they had at CAD. I don't know if that's actually been fixed or if I just got lucky. I was quite worried that I would receive a defective mic as it seems like a lot of people had. Basically the, the CAD is supposed to be an extremely quiet mic and many people were receiving mics that uh, had a, a high amount of self noise. Uh, they were clearly not uh, not working as advertised. Luckily I got a model that I'm very happy with it's working as it should. I'm going to go ahead and engage the high pass filter now just to give you an idea of what that is like when you turn it on and how much noise that will actually cancel out. My AC is running right now so once I clip this on you should hear uh, less of that if you're using headphones. If you're not using headphones you're not probably not going to be able to tell but I'm going to flip it on now. You're going to hear a brief high frequency sound but that's just it turning on. All right, so now the high pass filter is engaged, and uh, if I'm quiet here, you should hear a difference in the uh, in the amount of of room noise that there is. Okay, I think that'll about do it for this uh, short little demo. I hope it helps someone out there if you're looking into purchasing this particular microphone. Uh, I I really like it a lot. So far, it's been absolutely what I wanted from it and uh, I'll be using it mostly for gaming videos and uh, podcasting so it should be really good as long as it doesn't just randomly croak on me one day or something.
I'll leave you now with a little piece of edited audio. Uh, I'll just read a little excerpt from a Haruki Murakami novel. So here we go. Sometimes fate is like a small sandstorm that keeps changing directions. You change direction, but the sandstorm chases you. You turn again, but the storm adjusts. Over and over, you play this out like some ominous dance with death just before dawn. Why? Because this storm isn't something that blew in from far away. Something that has nothing to do with you. This storm is you. Something inside of you. So all you can do is give in to it, step right inside the storm, closing your eyes and plugging up your ears so the sand doesn't get in, and walk through it, step by step. There's no sun there, no moon, no direction, no sense of time. Just fine white sand swirling up into the sky like pulverized bones. That's the kind of sandstorm you need to imagine. And you really will have to make it through that violent, metaphysical, symbolic storm. No matter how metaphysical or symbolic it might be, make no mistake about it, it will cut through flesh like a thousand razor blades. People will bleed there, and you will bleed too. Hot red blood. You'll catch that blood in your hands, your own blood, and the blood of others. And when that storm is over, you won't remember how you made it through, how you managed to survive. You won't even be sure, in fact, whether the storm is really over. But one thing is certain, when you come out of the storm, you won't be the same person who walked in. That's what this storm is all about. <laughs>